Okay. So your desire for experience loses innocence, has power struggles, has violence, has anger, has strength, and there's fears around strength and lack of strength. Um, I would have normally said I lived a fearful life. I wouldn't say that. I had, I thought I had a great upbringing. Or the thing, when I look back and I see the texture of doing things around Mars, yeah, they were very extreme and violent and dangerous things that I've done. You know, and just if someone told me I couldn't, then it was because they told me I couldn't. If someone um, dared me, I would uh, I would have to prove it. Like. Now, even now, I don't like it when anyone gets in my way from what I'm doing or if I'm driving and someone's driving slower. I'm always pushing further than what I can normally afford. Okay, so this, this it's just a harsh quality that's there. Lots of people got it. And if you're going to threaten them or you're going to get in the way, you're going to fight them, it's going to be a strong battle. Don't underestimate it. I met four people born the same day, same year as me, and three were professional astrologers, and we were all in the one room at the same time once. We all got along fine. We all related to each other, but we were walking on eggshells because we all had this competitive, sarcastic intensity that brought us to be astrologers in the first place. But we can easily say something that affects the other, takes on so personally, we walk on tiptoes around each other. <laughs> Um, okay, once you start getting to Jupiter and out, it's harder to see. It becomes less clear. It's still there. This, this Pluto point, I've been playing on more as fear and control to see it. The idea of having a control, the idea of being fear out of control, the confrontation, the reality check, what's true. If something went wrong or something was bad, how do you deal with it? And also with Jupiter, it's a question of what's right and wrong and what's guiding you. So Jupiter is your guiding light. What happens if fear and confrontation and reality checks? You know, someone who grows up in a very happy home, they're well off and they go to school, they have all the benefits, that's fine. Someone else goes up to school and there's violence and abuse and it's dangerous or whatever. There's two totally different understandings as to what's right or what's wrong. And any, they might both be in the same class in school and some issue comes up. There's two different realities in terms of what what the understanding would be as to how to deal with something. And there's many variations on this. All the experiences and different experience people have in any day, much less as they accumulate across a lifetime. Do we have too many experiences to even talk about? But Pluto to Jupiter, Jupiter's trying to assimilate Saturn and see if responsibilities, what needs to be done, what time I've got, and guide Mars to be responsible or disciplined or prepared. Pluto tends to make Jupiter afraid or angry. And it's a fight between what's, is there a principle or isn't there? Is there a God or isn't there? What's right? Does it matter what's right or what's wrong? Pluto puts this harshness or controlling this or fearfulness into Jupiter. One's understanding, one's guiding light, which shouldn't be afraid, shouldn't be fearful. But everyone born within a year that has that would have that aspect. So a whole class would have that aspect. A whole whole class at school would have that same aspect. Except for the kids that were ahead a year or behind a year. Um, but there's a, a, a struggle for what's right or wrong. So you're growing up, you're going out to school, you finish school, you're trying to go out to work, you get jobs or you don't get jobs, you're trying to look what you but there's gangs, there's bullies, there's right ways to do things, there's good good ways to do things. Do you take the good way or do you think the system is messed? It's all against you and you take the wrong way. There's a battle over what's right or wrong with, with Pluto Jupiter. So um, there's a fight for interpreting things properly. There's a fight for understanding things. When I'm, gee, sometimes I throw my energy into a cause really strongly and then there's a fight. If there's something wrong going on, it, if I'm on the wrong side, it takes a while to see it. So how do you know who's good, who's bad, what's worth doing, what's not? 
what education did you get? Do you follow it to get the education so you can guide your actions better? Or do you think it's it sucks or it's blocked by the Pluto? So um, I also have Pluto Jupiter square. So I'm I got the I got a lot of Pluto aspects. Um, but I studied more once I left school than when I was in school. I was studying what I wanted, not what I was being told to do. If I left school, I didn't want a chemical engineering. I didn't want to build a bomb or make a germ or a disease. I didn't want to do those things. I didn't want to, I didn't want to kill a frog <laughs> in, the, in the biology class. I never did. But um, we do it, we don't as Mars Jupiters, but you wonder what's right or wrong. I had a lot of wrong understandings, people that had wrong understanding, elders, teachers, parents, uncles, even some coaches, just a lot of wrong influences that had their understanding and had to go, that wasn't real, that wasn't true. And in a way, if there's a God, how can there be gangs or cops? You know, like, I think I just decided somewhere along the line, I'd rather have the cops than the gangs. You know, there's some rules, even though not all the cops are, many cops are corrupt. So running into harsh understandings, rights and wrongs, and having to fight for what's true or what's right or wrong or fight against them. This is the Pluto to the Jupiter. But you can't, it's hard to see it so personal. It's just a shadow that's there. That person's understanding is going to run into some darkness and hopefully it has the, the discipline and the upbringing to be able to come to terms with what's right or wrong. You know, so, Things get pushed to the limit with Pluto. Reality checks come in. What's the reality check on your understanding? What happens if your understanding is wrong? And you've been guiding yourself and you're doing it wrong for years. I remember I had a Tai Chi class and this teacher was teaching me this move and I kept kept correcting it. I kept doing it, working on it. And every every week he kept correcting it. So no, that's not at no, least. It's gone on for about a couple of months. That's driving me crazy. So finally, I get frustrated. I stopped going to class for a couple of weeks. In the meantime, I had some crises in my life. I had to take care of it. I took care of that or it happened. I came back and I had it perfectly all the time. It was more that my understanding was being twisted in another situation and was affecting my guidance of my energy in, the, in another place. So if your understanding gets twisted, but who's a friend, who's not, what's right, what's wrong. If we get a wrong understanding, it's going to twist the action, how, how we're encouraging what we should do. So if you lose your sense of principles, you could do anything in life. Whether you take it sexually, whether you take it physically, forcefully, aggressively, and not only could it be done to you, you could do it, you could be done to you. What's your understanding of it? I've had to learn in my life that it's not who did that to me, although that's how I process it. They did that, how could they do it? No, it's not how come they did that, that person did that to me. It's how come I attracted that person. How come my understanding allowed that darkness in? Not so simple. How far will you follow your beliefs? So often there's a battle between the good side of society and the dark side of society with Pluto to Jupiter, with some right or wrong understanding. And there's going to be examples of wrong around you. And you're trying to figure out if everything's wrong, do I just be wrong too? Or do I struggle to get, do I learn from other people's mistakes or my own mistakes? That's the learning of the Jupiter. And Pluto brings in this shadow or this darkness with it. Jupiter's expanding, expanding, expanding. Pluto puts fear in that expanding. So it puts harshness and fear in that understanding of expanding. So, wow, if you're not gonna get, if you're gonna get one bad friend, you probably get ten. But it could be blocked, it could be a block 
that you're afraid of understanding what you've already done. I don't want to look at it because I don't want to understand what, because I know I did something wrong. I don't want to look at who I, it can be a block in your understanding about facing what's true. If that block in understanding is there in your understanding, how can it guide you any way but fearfully? So if you have the Pluto Jupiter, there's a battle to find truth without fear to find your heart, to hold on to the sun, to find the joviality and the wisdom. But there'll be battles against people who represent the exact opposite of it. Okay, so like I said, you don't get as much to go on in a personal way with these other planets, but still their presence that is part of the, the painting or the mosaic part of the kaleidoscope. When you put Pluto to Saturn, I get that conjunct. Well, everybody at the end in 46, 45, 46, 47 pretty well has that. Um, it's the fear of father, fear of authority, a fear of being controlled, fear of being locked up, fear of being abused. Like, I was always afraid of my father. I was like, there's always fears. And for a long time, I was very insecure finding jobs. I can't you know, I'm, I'm fitting into places, but sometimes I was in trouble fighting the system. Sometimes I was in security within the system. Eventually, Pluto became my own. I've only worked for myself in my life. So Pluto was to be my own authority, to be responsible for myself, to not have anyone coming with you and not have to put up with unjust authority figures. So it was. it's very difficult for me today to hear the stuff about Trump and people in authority who are lying and not and being cheats and not saying what's real to deal with no, no news is real news and like to me this is a horrible thing and I get angry at it so like I have to fight to not be angry and then try and find a spiritual answer to it but um Pluto to Saturn there's going to be some fear with the father, some block with the father, and it will either bring, it could cripple someone or it could make one someone over controlled. So, um, you can't say it's just a specific thing or that. It's there. And when you start hearing a person's story, you say, oh, there it is. Oh, there's the example. But it's, the Pluto Center is tied to the father. Maybe the father wasn't there. You know, it was most likely when the father was ferociously there. But there's a fear, there's a fear of accomplishment, a fear of authority. And because there's the inhibition of fear of authority, there's a need to fight against unjust authority and to become your own authority. So it can be very severely disciplined or um, it can attract severe discipline. It can attract severe discipline from others, from people you work from, work for. This can affect bones, skin, all the Saturn things can be affected by Pluto. The Pluto, it's just an aspect. You still have to use the Pluto in the sign. It's just you have to use your Saturn. And, the, and Jupiter has to understand Saturn. It's just it's this other Plutonian influence coming in here. And it still has to understand it properly in spite of something unfair or something wrong going on. When you get to the outer planets, you don't seem like just the fear of losing control or being controlled. You know, it's, um, 